Hello friends, Tiffany here. Welcome to my quilting life. It's Monday morning. Good morning. I'm still in my pajamas. I haven't started my day. Why? Because it's Monday. I mean, really, what is there to do on a Monday besides come in the sewing room and chat with all of you and tell you what I did last week? So it's the 30th of October. Tomorrow is Halloween. Happy Halloween to all of you who go out and scare all the little ones. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I know. I'm not that silly. Anyway, so I'm going to combine some stuff. This week, I got some mail in the mail. Uh, so I'm going to combine my mail openings because it's a very small amount. And who knows when I'm going to get more. So let's just show you. I got a postcard with an iceberg on it. Super awesome. It's iceberg at Bay Bowls near St. John's in spring and summer. Thousands of majestic icebergs drift southwards past Newfoundland and Labrador. And this person always wanted to send me a postcard and has been watching my channel for a long time. First holiday since the pandemic. So they're excited to share with me the place where they grew up. So it's the polar opposite of Arizona. And hello to me, Scott and Thumper. So that's really awesome. The next thing that came in the mail is a little envelope like this. It came from Florida, and I will butcher this name. So I'm not going to say it. But I never say the name on mail opening. So why would I say that now? I don't know. Anyways, inside is, oh, there's a note. Let's get the note out first. Uh, always watches my So Sundays on Mondays. Husband gets on the TV on Sundays, so the husband gets the TV. Uh, love my blogs, lives, etc., and I've aspired her to do so much. Here are some hourglass blocks for my project, and hope uh, that she hopes that some of my subscribers do the same. Uh, hers are hand piece as she's packed up her sewing machine for the holidays. So enjoy. Um, ah, okay. Mary. All right. So here's some hand piece. Well, these are good hand piece blocks. Let me tell you. All right. So we got some little hand pieced hour. And since I'm trimming everything down to um, two inches, most likely when I finish you know, start going together. But look at that very meticulous hand piecing there. You can tell that it's hand pieced. Let me hold it up to the screen. Focus, focus. Look at that. Beautiful stitching. Very good. Very good. But look, there's a whole bunch of them. Little hourglasses. She hand pieced all these. So I will have some hand pieced blocks inside of my um, hourglass quilt when I finally make it and it'll be from other people as well. So that is awesome. So thank you for the contribution, Mary. Um, all right, let me kind of clean this up on a live stream. It's totally different when I live stream opening mail and, and I'm recording a video. So what else this week? Well, other than mail, Monday, I loaded the long arm with a project that I am, let's just say, having fun with. I made a quilt months ago, off camera actually. I just wanted something to play around with and test some fun on the long arm. Well, I loaded it on Monday and then I didn't quilt right away because I drew a blank. Even though I knew what I wanted to do. And I drew a blank. So by the evening, I was like, okay, I'm just going to go for it and go with what I wanted to do in the first place, which is thread painting. If you guys didn't know, thread painting is where you take a bunch of different thread colors, three colors, five colors, ten colors, whatever the case. And I'm just going to use my little whiteboard here as an example. With thread painting, you're literally painting on the fabric, strokes of blah, blah, blah. So if you're going to do a spirally kind of thing like this, uh, you could spin around it a bazillion times, come back around and go back, back and forth. Spin around it, 
come back and forth. You're not actually in your thread painting. You're not really making anything perfect. You're not trying to stay away from lines like as if you were trying to do something like that and then follow back on it self, you know, and have a nice straight whatever. Thread painting is the mess of it. So you're painting a picture with just constant mode of stitching, 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 just lots and lots of stitching. So I am thread painting with some colors on black fabric and it's been fun. It's also been very time consuming. So Monday, I only worked for like an hour. I just couldn't do it. My legs were killing me. I had worked out that morning as well. I work out on Mondays. So I was really tired when Tuesday came around. So I did, I, I, even though I woke up and I was immense pain in my legs, I still went to the long arm, turned it on, and I worked for, I don't know, I don't even think I worked for like 30 minutes because Scott, by then he came home from the gym. I was too tired. I just wanted to lay down and we watched a movie that morning. So I just called it and said, you know, I'll work on it later. Well, later never happened on Tuesday. So Wednesday comes around. Again, Wednesday is a workout day. So I did my workout. I mean, I pushed through it. I, I'm having a really bad week, you know, with my legs. It's actually kind of been longer than a week. But this week is just dragging it, you know. Um, I also went to physical therapy. So I didn't do nothing on Wednesday. And then Thursday came around. Again, I didn't do anything. I lazed around in bed and watched TV. Like, I really wish I had an update for you guys. I didn't even come in here. All of these days this week, I have not come in here. Yesterday for So Sunday's video was the first time I sewed in this room. Well, I can't say first because on Sunday morning, I actually hemmed or not hemmed. I altered a pair of pants that got a hole in them. So I kind of like made a new seam and then I uh, fixed one of Scott's shirts. So technically I sewed that far of a distance on my sewing machine on both items. So at least I got that done. Uh, then Friday came around. I don't remember if we went Friday or Saturday to Walmart. Did we go Friday or Friday. Saturday? We went Friday. Friday to Walmart. And while at Walmart, I always, always, always go to the sewing, quilting, and hobby section of Walmart. Why? Because sales if you have the Walmart app, and this is not sponsored by Walmart, but get, you need that app because that app has a scanner thing in it and you have to scan things. And I'm going to show you right here, right now, you would scan things, uh, these things right here, wherever they are, this right here, the barcode. You scan that barcode and it'll tell you the price of things. And now if it's in this weird section, not next to everything else, it most likely is on sale scan those barcodes. If you're, if it looks like something you would use, buy, whatever, scan those barcodes because most likely it's on sale. Regular fabric normally right now is between $5.97 and eight something at Walmart a yard, which is kind of high for Walmart. Walmart used to be like $3.97 a yard for most things. So when a $3 number comes up on the screen when we scan it, obviously we're going to buy it. So Scotty's choices that he made me buy. He made me buy because he says I needed it. And obviously I'm going to use it because I use everything. I got these right here. So we got camo sharks and I got a total of, hold on, I got to look at this. I got six yards and three yards, six yards and three yards right here. So nine yards total of camo sharks. Sc Scotty also found this one and said, Tiffy, you got to buy it. It's $3 a yard. We're not going to pass it up. So horses make great quilt backing, like great quilt backing. This actually has eight yards on it. So this is a whole like full size quilt worth of backing fabric right here on this $3 a yard. So obviously we can't pass that up. The next thing is one has uh, four yards. That doesn't look like four yards. Maybe that's four yards for both of these. 
I think the two combined is four yards because that definitely isn't four yards on one. Yeah. All right. And then this one is seven yards. So there's a lot of yardage here. And this splat stuff can be background blender, backing fabric. It could be whatever. But guess what? It was $3 a yard. We ain't going to pass it up. So there's that. Last but not least is, well, my first choice because, you know, hey, I just choose things and it's because I gravitate towards certain fabrics. Skulls. Sugar skulls, to be exact. If you guys didn't know this, I love sugar skulls. I even got one tattooed on me because why not? They're so beautiful. <laughs> so I got a full eight yards of sugar skulls in the package still they didn't even have to count it because most likely it's eight yards i've never been gypped on the eight yards that walmart says is on a bolt but three dollars a yard these are regularly 6.97 so obviously we saved three dollars look at that so there's that so that was friday we went shopping i still didn't long arm quilt I didn't actually go back to the long arm until saturday saturday morning i got up because Friday is a workout day, so after I worked out, we went to Walmart and did all that. And then I bought the thread needed to fix my soon-to-be daughter-in-law's wedding dress, so that way I could finish the final touches. Saturday came around, and I got a small burst of energy in the morning, and I said, you know what, I'm going to long arm quilt. I turned it on, and I got to work, and I thread painted, and thread painted, and thread painted, until my legs couldn't handle it. Then, obviously, I stopped, took a nap, and had the rest of the day to do whatever. But then I, I, around, like, I don't know, it was like 6 p.m. or so, I told Scott, we were, we were done watching a movie, and I says, hey, I'm going to go quilt for an hour. And exactly an hour is what I went and quilted for. I turned on the machine and quilted for exactly an hour, and it was weird because my body knew it was time to stop. So I got some more quilting done. So let's just say I have probably another two, three hours or more of thread painting to do. And I've already done another, I've already done at least three and a half, four hours total. And I've already stitched 280,000. I checked it before when I turned the machine off yesterday out of curiosity. 280,000 blah, 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 the number stitches already on a quilt that's a lap size literally as just by that big number i don't even do most king size quilts with an edge to edge don't even have 280,000 stitches in them a custom king size quilt may come close to 280 i've done one custom king size quilt that had 350,000 stitches in it but never on a lap quilt have i done 280 and i'm still not done that's a lot of thread painting, and I'm having fun with it. I wish I could show you now, but I want to save it until it's done, then show you that, aha, it's beautiful, because it really, it's looking really cool, but it, it's not my best work, because you can tell I'm in, that's one thing about my quilting, and I'm not sure how you guys are, but you can tell when I'm in pain when I'm quilting, and when I'm having a good day. It's noticeable in, in how I stitch, um, my stitch quality, my just way of the movements, my ovals aren't ovals, my circles aren't circles, my squares have bings and movements in them, you know, you can tell when I'm not feeling good. And it shows, but since I'm thread painting, guess what? It doesn't matter because I'm making a mess on some fabric and I'm having fun with that. So I can't wait to show you, but you're going to have to hold off until it's done, which hopefully will be next week. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it goes because, again, I haven't been feeling too well. And then Sunday, Sunday's video, hopefully you guys all watched. I'll link it in the description below. So Sunday, I started on a project that had, was some cotton cut piece leftover challenge pieces or whatever that they send out. And I'm having fun with it. It was sent to me, and I'm pretty sure that's what it was. And I started making hourglass blocks. And some other block, I don't even know. I know I've seen the block, I've done the block a bazillion times. I know there's a name for it, but I'm not 100% sure. But I made those and then I put uh, like sashing pieces around them. 
and I'm making a total of 40 blocks, although obviously I won't be able to use 40 on any of the layouts. It would probably be six across by six down for a total of 36 pieces, or you know, maybe I can do five across by six down or something like that. And I'll still have a remainder of something, but hey, it's gonna make a good size quilt because the blocks are coming out at nine and a half inches. Plus I have more pieces, which we'll get to that next week when I work on it, but I have more pieces to create a pieced border with it. I may or may not, not sure how big this is gonna be or how it's gonna work, but I may or may not have to introduce another fabric just to get the border thing to work out. But hey, I'm having fun. I'm making stuff up as I go. I am attempting to only work with what I have, but you know, you never know. The, the rest might be able to just be something I throw in the back of the quilt and we'll see. I, I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but again, whatever happens, happens. So stay tuned for, you know, Sunday's video this next coming Sunday. And then obviously yesterday's video is in, linked in the description below. So check that out. As that's all I got. I have not completed anything. I can answer a question. I got a few people that emailed me and asked in the comments of last week's vlog, is my goal to finish the quilts hanging in my closet? Yes, that is my goal. For the, Obviously, they're not going to get done this year. And if I turn the camera, you can see there's still lots hanging in there. And it seems I keep adding, oops, sorry for that. It seems I keep adding to the closet. Like, I really, it's never going to go down. But yes, my goal Maybe I should make the goal for the end of 2024 to have all of anything that hung in 2023 finished because that should be the goal, you know, and anything I make in 2024, blah, blah, blah. My real true goal is to make a quilt in a video live stream or however, and then the goal is to have it finished by that next Sunday to show you guys a fully finished quilt. Goals. We all have goals. I, I'm trying to get through them, but. It doesn't always work that way. So I just do what I got to do. But yes, that is my goal is to finish everything that is hanging in the closet. I also have a couple drawers in my fabric room that have some quilt tops in it that I could probably, you know, fix and get done. Because some of them just need to be fixed or something, you know, whatever. And I have a couple antique quilts that also could be quilted up. But I mean, again, I have lots of things to do. and. Today is only today, and tomorrow is only tomorrow, and so on and so forth. So do what you can, when you can, which is what I do, and I make it work. So that's about all I have for today's video. Again, not a very productive week, literally. I, I tried, but we all have those days, and we all have times where we struggle and just can't do anything, or work gets in the way, or family and friends get in the way, and this week, medical got in the way for me, So, but that's okay. I'm going to work towards a better goal for this week that we're going to come on to. So anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Have fun sewing this week and I'll see y'all later. Bye.